Hi everyone, I'm Clarice Gagné. I'm a researcher at King's College London in the Center for Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine. This is actually where I am at the moment, in our seminar room, where you can see uh, all the super beautiful scientific images that were taken by the scientists that work here. I'm really happy to talk for your workshop today. So I'm going to briefly introduce myself and after talk about my work in the Human Cell Atlas. So I'm originally from Paris, France, where I did uh, my undergrad and master degree. During this time, I had the opportunity to do two lab internships, so one in the UK and one in the US. And those internships, those lab experience, really uh, convinced me that I wanted to be a scientist. So after that, I decided uh, to pursue um, a PhD. So I, I uh, went back in Paris, uh, did a PhD uh, in cell therapies for rare genetic skin diseases. Uh, this PhD was completed two years ago. And after I came here, uh, decided to work on the Human Cell Atlas. Uh, still on the skin, but a totally different perspective uh, than the cell therapy I was doing before. So the Human Cell Atlas, you probably uh, know from other scientists that talk to you for those videos, but I'm just going to uh, sum up the aim of this project. So this project um, gather together a lot of scientists that work in different parts of the world which is pretty amazing. And we all aim uh, to build a comprehensive map of all the cell types that compose all the organs in the human body. So basically the best example to give you to understand better what I just said is Google Map. So Google Map, I'm sure you know, uh, allow you to see uh, a city, for example, if you zoom in to see the street on that city, and after the different road on that street and the different building along the tours. So this is a bit the same uh, principle that we want to build here, but with the cell types in each tissue that compose the different organs. My lab is focused on the skin. So what we want to do with the skin is a skin cell atlas, uh, where we will be able to um, see precisely all the skin cell types. So for example, the cell type that compose here, the epidermis, the keratinocytes, or the cell types that compose the dermis, so the fibroblast, uh, the all immune cell types. So this is the cell types that allow you to fight against microbes or chemical. And to understand how those cells interact with each other, how they are uh, specially organized, so that will be really a resource, a reference map uh, from healthy donors to understand how those cells are in different parts of the body, for example. So how those cells are on the skin face or how they are on the, the skin, the, the body, the skin uh, from the body. Or also how they are along the time. So how these cells are when uh, you are a child and when you are an adult if you are an older adult, a younger adult, etc. So when we will have those references, we will be able to compare uh, those cell types with disease skin, for example, to uh, better understand what is happening in uh, different skin diseases and find better treatments. So this is the aim of the Human Cell Atlas, and my aim particularly is focused on skin. I hope you enjoyed this workshop today and I really would like to see some of the skin cell types such as the fibroblast for example in our play cards. Thanks for listening to me today.